So now let's see how we can utilize the vortex displacement warp effect inside of head film. So to do that, I'm going to go around over here on the effects panel. And then over here, if I were to scroll down, you can see that warp is an option over here. And as I were to scroll down, you can see that vortex displacement warp effect is an option that you can bring in over here, right here. So if I were to go around over here and click and drag this on my layer in my composition shot, then it is applied over here. However, the vortex displacement warp is a composition only effect. So if I were to go around and bring it in the editor view, then I cannot bring this in as you can see right here. So that, uh, that is not simply allowed. So it only works right here. So with the vortex warp effect, you get this to handle right here that you can use to expand and collapse out the radius. And then you can move these arrows as well. And apart from that, you can go around and expand this. And then what you have is you can go around and change around the angle from over here as well and change around the angle uh, right here, just like this and really change uh, it around like this as well. So you got this kind of an effect over here, just like this as well. Let me just go around and change it into zero itself and then work around with angle just a bit over here, just like this. So just like this. You can go around over here and change around the radius of the vortex as well. And then you can go around and change around the depth as well, as you can see. Then you can go around and change it out into reflect and warp and no uh, uh, tile and so forth into different effect as you like as well from over here. But that really doesn't go around and make some change right here, as you can see. So you can go around and reflect it. You can click and drag this around right here, just like this as well and then get the board uh, effect as you want right here. So let's just go around over here and animate this. So you can go around and animate all of these properties right here, just like this. So you can go around and move it out right here, just like this, and then get the effect that you want. So you can go around over here, decrease this out right here, and then change around, let's say, uh, for example, the angle right here, just like this, and then uh, change around the radius over here, just like this as well, and get the effect that you want. So on the depth, so let's just go around, add in uh, zero right here, just like this. Uh, so let's just go around over here and then just get this sweet spot right here. And then what happens is that this is what you have right here. So let's just go around onto one right here. So you can see that this is the effect that you get right here at the end. So what happens is that you can go around and get this effect right here. Um, by using the vortex displacement warp effect right there. So that is how you can utilize the vortex displacement warp inside of hip film and warp out objects as you like. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.